What is going on guys? It is CW Gaming bringing you a brand new series. This is NBA 2K19 Expansion My League and the Seattle Sonics have returned to Seattle and the NBA and what a time it is. And we're going to go ahead and pop this episode right off with the expansion draft. Now this expansion draft only requires seven players to be saved from the draft and what that means is every team can only protect seven players on their roster uh, to not go to the draft and so that means it's going to be a little harder uh, for me to find good players for good trade value and the strategy for this draft is to find young players with good contracts that have good trade value uh, so we can still have cap room for the offseason and this whole series is going to be a learning curve for me so I'm going to get embarrassed a few times in the comments for not knowing the right moves to do uh, I'm probably going to get roasted for this draft but for the most part our starting five is not a bad one I don't think and rather than boring you with the whole draft of me sitting there trying to figure out who to draft I'll just fast forward straight to our starting five DJ Augustine, our point guard, Danny Green, uh, Seti Osman, Avery Bradley on the bench, Kyle Korver as well, Etwan Moore, and Patty Mills is our backup point guard. Uh, so this team can definitely shoot, can definitely have some offense going, uh, Danny Green being our shooting guard. Uh, Seti Osman being that young small forward uh, with a good contract, Jeremiah Grant and Daniel Thighs, I have to learn how to say his name uh, throughout this series, but... For the most part, we have a pretty good offense, uh, being able to shoot, we're young, we have good trade value, uh, but within the next episode or so, this roster could look completely different, uh, so we're going to be making some moves uh, within the next episodes or so, just trying to move uh, some contracts around, just working on um, stuff like that, so whoever you want to see, just let me know, uh, and I'll do my best to get that player or get that player out try and get some better contracts in and without further ado we'll move into our first game of the season against the dallas mavericks i'm so excited to have seattle uh to give seattle back its nba team uh, for those of you that don't know the oklahoma city thunder used to be the seattle sonics uh, and now the seattle sonics are back in the nba so this is going to be a tough season um, DJ Augustine is doing everything he can. Uh, Danny Green with a nice layup. And Jeremiah Grant with a nice shot. And we're up 6-4 early in the game. Uh, our offense, I didn't expect our offense to be this good. Uh, Przingis missing a shot. And it is weird to see Przingis in a Mavericks jersey now. Uh, but I guess we're going to have to get used to it. Uh, nice pick and roll offense there. Um that's the majority of the offense we play is a pick and roll offense uh, majority because we have some guys that don't necessarily um, they aren't the best at scoring the ball <laughs> against defenses so uh, Luka Doncic is going to be an issue this game uh, he's already dropped a few buckets for the Mavericks uh, but we're up 10 to 8 in the first quarter I'm excited to see how this team uh, reacts to being such a new team. Uh, look at that layup from DJ Augustine. Uh, nice way to break the defense and get the bucket. Uh, Luka Doncic in the corner uh, pulls up, misses a shot. We grab the rebound at Seti Osman over to Danny Green. Uh, Grant's wide open in the corner. He has a decent three-point shot as he bangs a, a three. And we're up 17 to 8, so we're on a roll here uh, in our first game. DJ Augustine gets an and one, and he's already hit two free throws in this game, so his third free throw is good. And we're off to a great start 20 to 10 now as Przingis has a beautiful uh, alley oop there, and Doncic comes back with a layup. So the Mavericks are starting to put together a little run. Kyle Korver wide open at the free throw line, and he misses his shot. Uh, Kyle Korver coming off the bench. He could provide a good spark uh, late in games. Uh, he leaves Dirk Nowitzki wide open, and Nowitzki hits a three. And we were off to a hot start. It's Patty Mills comes in with a nice layup. 
But uh, the Mavericks are trying to cut into our lead a little bit, uh, trying to get our hot start off as Doncic hits a nice dunk. And late in the first quarter, uh, Patty Mills is blocked. Uh, but we're going to go right back to him. And he's going to hit a three. Uh, the Mavericks are cutting into our lead a little bit. But uh, Vizzi's going to miss his shot right here. Uh, and rebounding was a big problem in this game. We weren't able to get rebounds, you know, which caused a lot of havoc in terms of uh, not being able to get a stop. And Patty Mills in the nice uh, layup right there. And Danny Green is going to do his job with a nice dunk. And we were trading leads at this point in the second quarter. We would score and then they would score. We just couldn't find an answer for their offense. Uh, Patty Mills with a nice open layup shot, or free throw shot, I mean, and Courtney Lee with a nice three. So like I said earlier, we were trading shots. We would grab the lead, and they would take it right back from us, and our bench is in now. And Avery Bradley is a guy that I'm not real sure what to do with. Uh, he used to be a very good player for the Celtics. Uh, he had some turnovers in this, in this game. He missed a lot of open shots. And he missed some layups too, so. Uh, talking about missing shots, Jeremiah Grant misses a three. And the Mavericks are starting to pull away with the lead a little bit. Uh, but back to Avery Bradley, I'm not sure what to do with him. Uh, we could see about trading him, we might release him. Uh, maybe we could get a draft pick for him, I'm not real sure yet. Uh, nice defense from him there. Uh, nice defense again. Still can't find a stop for their offense. As Mavericks pull away up by 10 before half. Uh, so we started out very strong, but uh, the story of this game was Porzingis and Doncic. Well, we weren't able to stop them in all this game. Uh, they started off slow. Doncic uh, misses his shot. Porzingis with a nice rebound. And they're swinging the ball. Porzingis with another shot. He misses that shot. And this is exactly what I'm talking about with the rebounding. Uh, we weren't able uh, to get rebounds, which is kind of a problem with that last second buzzer beater. Uh, that was disappointing. As you see the stats, 25 rebounds for the Mavericks, and we have 21. Uh, not very good shooting the ball for us. Um, a lot to work out, but uh, the third quarter, uh, the story was set. We just could not stop their offense from scoring. They did everything right, and our offense struggled. And this layup right here was a very good layup, a nice cradle layup from DJ Augustine. It's what I like to see. Uh, we don't give up. We're getting slaughtered. Uh, Nowitzki absolutely destroyed Ilyasova right there. Just went right through him, a poster dunk, and that's just the way this game went. As Patty Mills has 23 points, Passes to Doug McDermott in the corner, and he hits a three. And right now, fourth quarter, we're just getting absolutely destroyed. Uh, we're getting a chance to see some guys that probably wouldn't normally play. His Mills isn't giving up just yet. 26 points for him. He had a pretty good day coming off the bench, and I'm actually kind of uh, wondering if we should start him after this game. I'll give it a few more games and then see what we can do with him. Uh, he's very good for layups and shooting. And he's not done yet. He never gave up, and that's what I like to see from Patty Mills. Uh, and we ended up losing this game 124 to 97. So the first game back for Seattle, we get destroyed, uh, which I wasn't really expecting to win a lot of games this year. Uh, but I did see some good things. I saw some bad things we need to work on. And definitely we're going to be playing with this roster a little bit. Uh, as you see the stats, Patty Mills finished with 30 points, DJ Augustine with 15, Jeremiah Grant with 15, Danny Green with 14. So we had some pretty good scores. Uh, we just couldn't, we just couldn't figure out what was going on on our defense. So we we saw some things that we could do well, some things we need to work on. Uh, so definitely, as this series progresses, uh, we'll see a completely different roster and. Uh, we're going to take on some more games next episode. Uh, we're going to progress the season pretty quickly. So uh, if you guys like this, just leave a comment, like. Uh, I really would enjoy your feedback. Let me know what you want to see, who you'd want to see. 
and I'll see you guys in the next episode.